Kangaroo rage has been terrorising members of a Gold Coast golf club. A 64-year-old woman, the latest victim of a savage attack. Just imagine for a second having a nice relaxing game of golf, uh, getting your pitching wedge out, looking up from your titleless ballada and confronting this. Terrifying. Well, that is what's been facing members of Arundel Hills Country Club. Dozens of players have been set upon, some injured so badly they were sent to hospital. Wow. For more, let's bring in wildlife expert Ian Temby in Victoria. Ian, good morning to you. The problem is so bad, staff are asking how long until a life is lost. Is that serious? Potentially it is. And um, I saw some of the footage from that golf course and uh, I was horrified. There's a, a golf course in Anglesey in Victoria where there Whoa. are as many kangaroos, they are as used to people, but you just don't get that uh, reaction from them. They, there haven't been attacks there that I've ever heard of, certainly nothing like on that golf course. And that behaviour is really extreme. I, I was just blown away when I saw it. Even a little joey was attacking somebody. Um, it's highly unusual and certainly dangerous. And I'm not surprised people have been sent to hospital. There is certainly the risk of far more serious injuries. Um, if a big male kangaroo kicks hard at your stomach with his big hind feet, yeah. he could open you up. Look, when, we were kids, when we were kids, we used to go um, mustering and follow queens. You just stay away from them. But these things are, are, right, are really in close contact with um, the general public. What do you do about it? Well, the problem with those kangaroos is that they are totally habituated to people and have absolutely no fear of people, and that makes them dangerous. My normal advice, um, if you're challenged by a big... And it's usually a big male kangaroo. That's not the case. That's not the case at this golf course. Um, normal advice is to crouch down, back away, get a bush or something between you and the kangaroo, mm. which obviously you can't do at a golf course. And... Some of that footage shows a kangaroo chasing someone around the buggy. Yeah. Um, it's a serious situation and obviously something does need to be done about it. Look, I've they... noticed that um, relocation of kangaroos was one suggestion. Yeah. Um, relocation is not a good solution. Um, some of the kangaroos die from stress from being relocated. I think even these ones, it would be a stressful experience for them. But they also tend to try and come back home and then you've got the risk of kangaroos crossing roads and things. So if you're thinking that those kangaroos need to be removed and you're thinking relocation, it's probably more humane just to knock them off. But there is another possibility that may work, and I don't know that it's ever been tried, but um, I use rat shot in a 22 to help scare kangaroos off my place. Um, and the pellets aren't going to do any damage at all to them. Um, but it may teach them to be a bit more wary of people. people it would take right. a concerted campaign. But unless you can treat, unless you can teach those kangaroos to um, be a little bit more nervous about being mm. around people, then um, they probably need to be removed. Other than, otherwise, there's a huge risk yeah. of people. Yeah, or it would have been handled very differently in far north Queensland. I know that much. Um, but they've got a real issue on their hands at this golf course now. So, <laughs> so I mean, it just, it's just reality. Uh, and for a lot of farmers, um, the damage that kangaroos cause is also a huge issue and, and they have to handle it the best way they can. But this solution is going to be a little bit more difficult, I feel. Good to talk to you. Thanks for your expertise. Appreciate it. G'day, it's Ali. And Carl. Thanks for watching the Today YouTube channel. <laughs> Subscribe now for brand new videos every day and exclusive bonus clips. Ali, say please. Please? Why? Please? I don't know. <laughs>